start that again. It's not so bad considering what we paid for it. I'll try and find the meter. Uh, oh, everything's so filthy. Ah! Darling, we've got weeks. We've got all the time in the world. I still think we should have stayed with Auntie Vera. At least until we got the place done up a bit. Nonsense. Surely it's better that we're here. That way we can make sure we get the important places tidied up first. The kitchen and the bathroom and in here. And not forgetting the bedroom. Behave. Why should I? But apart from that weekend in Devon when we were still reeling from the wedding, I have behaved like a monk. We've been under the eagle eye of Aunt Vera ever since. So I'm fed up with it. Give us a kiss. No. Not until we've at least got this place cleaned up a bit. Mm. I feel filthy already. This furniture, it makes my flesh creep. Oh, and for care, you're talking about the new Maddox family heirlooms here. <laughs> It'll all have to go. <laughs> what are you talking about? We can't exactly afford to... Refit that whole house new, can we? Oh, but it's disgusting, a lot of it. <sighs> Why we had to buy it all, I'll never know. Well, it came with the house. You never know. There might be some valuable antiques here. <laughs> Firewood, the lot of it. It's not too damp to catch light. Oh, we'll just have to make the best of it and buy new as and when we can afford it. At least we've got a nice new bed. Mm, yes, I can tell the way your mind works. <clears throat> right, where do we start? Where indeed? You go get the cases upstairs, mm -hmm. and I will see if I can find the boiler. I'm going to need gallons of hot water and a year's supply of flash to get through this lot. Right. Boiler's through there. I know where it is. Mm. Roughly. Mm. I only hope I don't get lost in all the cobwebs. If I'm not back in ten minutes, send out a search party. <laughs> You found it? What? The boiler. You found it. Oh, yes, I found it. At least I think it's a boiler. Well, don't blow us up, will you? Bugger! Doesn't look like it's been touched for centuries. What? That boiler. I could hardly get the valve to shift. <coughs> Did he light? No, no chance. We'll have to get someone in. Oh, God, I'm filthy. Oh, I'll have a look at it later. You can look all you want. You won't get it lit. Oh, you're talking to repairman extraordinaire. Maybe. <laughs> Even if repairman extraordinaire does manage to shift the valve, you're not going to get it lit without any matches, are you? Ah, no matches. That could be a problem. <sighs> we must have been mad buying this place. Oh, don't start that again. Do you think we'll ever get it fixed up? Of course we will. Come on, cheer up. Cool. Oh, look at it. It's falling to bits. Ah, oh, a couple of days and you won't recognise the place. Go on, how about another kiss? <laughs> You're filthy. I only wanted a kiss. I said to your face. Come on. Oh. Let's get started. <clears throat> oh, we must have been mad. You already said that. Well, normal couples buy nice new semis. Vicky, yeah, we've been through all this. We can't afford a nice new semi. Even waiting for a council house would be better than this. What is the matter with you? How long did the estate agent say this place has been empty? About 20 years. Why? Exactly. What? Why? That's what I'd like to know. Why has it been empty all that time? I don't know. Well, perhaps we should have asked. A bit late for second thoughts. I knew it was too good to be true. I mean, I know the place is damp and run down now, but it can't have been that way for 20 years, can yeah, it? No, but... Then why was it going so cheap? What does it matter? We managed to get it, so... Because nobody else wanted it, that's why. You don't know that. Well, then why didn't somebody buy it? You said yourself how cheap it was. It's a bit far from the shops and the stores and so on. 
Not if you've got a car. That sort of thing puts a lot of people off. Didn't put us off. Yeah, I know, but... Look, you were happy enough when we looked round the place, and, and happy enough when we bought it. Why the sudden change of heart? I don't know. It's just a feeling. What feeling? What, what sort of feeling? I don't know. I can't explain it. You're just tired after the journey, that's all. You'll be fine in the morning. Maybe. The place just oh, makes me shiver. Well, it wouldn't if you got the boiler going. Well, it's not the cold. It's just... What? You didn't get the shivers when we looked round the place. Well, at least if you did, you didn't say so at the time. It's different. The, the place just seems... Oh, different. Well, it looks exactly the same to me. How is it different? I don't know. No, only that it is. I never noticed before how dark the rooms are. It's not dark. Well, besides, it's gone seven o'clock. It gets dark quicker in the country. <laughs> let's leave, Rick. What? Right now, let's go. Vicky, it's a bit ridiculous that this is our home. It's a house. It is not a home. It will be our home, I promise. We could sell it again. Sell it? Vicky, even if I wanted to, and I don't. You said yourself it's, it's been on the market for over 20 years. We couldn't exactly sell it again overnight. I don't care. I, I just want to leave. We can go back to Auntie Vera's. Just be Please. stupid. Look, it took us ages to get a mortgage on the place and for those blasted solicitors to get their act together. So I'm damned if I'm just going to leave because you're afraid of the dark. Don't you love me? <laughs> what the hell's that got to do with it? If you love me, you'll take me away now. No, Vicky, you're being totally irrational. I'm not. I hate it here. You hate it? Ten minutes ago, you were sat in the car outside trying to decide what colour wallpaper you wanted. And now you hate it? It's different. Vicky, give me one rational reason why you're doing this. Just one. I told you. Oh, you've told me nothing. But I've always looked on you as, as rational and, and level-headed. And in the ten minutes we've walked since we walked in here, you, you've turned into some sort of gibbering idiot. And the only reasons you've managed to come up with is it's, it's damp and cold and you feel uneasy. I, I've never seen this side of you before and I don't think I like it. Do you think I do? Then pull yourself together and stop being so bloody stupid. <laughs> Sorry, darling, I didn't mean it. So am I. Come on. Come on. Come and sit down and explain it all to me. I can't explain it. I don't know. Well, just tell me what you feel. Anything. It's difficult to explain. I was all right when we first came in. The same in the kitchen, but... Oh, when I came back in here, I just felt... What? Cold is the only word to describe it. Oh, Vicky, I've told you, it's getting late. That this place is damp, but <coughs> these old houses have drafts. You just don't understand, do you? It's not that sort of cold. There was no draft. The cold was oh, sudden. I was OK one minute. And the next, I just felt this cold, sort of damp and clammy. Oh. Vicky, there is nothing wrong with the house. You're just used to a centrally heated modern flat, that's all. This place has been empty for 20 years. No heating, no fresh air, nothing. Well, it's bound to be damp and clammy. But it wasn't just that. And you were all excited and ready to move in and... Well, just look at the place. Even I've forgotten how run down it is. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah. Come on, we'll get some heating on and, and you won't recognise the place. Haven't got any matches, remember? Oh, no. Never mind, never mind. I spotted an off-licence in the village. Tell you what, you start cleaning up in here, I'll drive down and get us some. Uh, no! no. I, get us... I am not staying here alone. Vicky, I'll only be gone five minutes. Oh, please. Rick. All right, all right. I'll start cleaning up and you get the matches. 
We can both go. What are you afraid of, Vicky? Ghosts? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on, come on. You get the matches. And, uh, and, and get a bottle of brandy as well. That might help calm your nerves. Will you be all right? Oh, will you go? If I see any headless nuns, I'll phone Ghostbusters. Oh, don't even joke about them. <laughs> go on, off you go. Well, that was the passion of a wet lettuce. Ah. <laughs> go on, I'll see you in five minutes. Don't forget the brandy! Got anything well, to do. How long is she going to be? Just a few minutes. Why? Well, I thought we could get to know each other better. <laughs> Look, Miss. Uh, Mrs. Well, I, I hardly think that to we, that to you. What about your husband? <laughs> He's not here. He uh, went away. Even so, my, my wife could be back any minute. Are you frightened of me? <laughs> no, of course not. Most so... men are. Are they? Mm. I can't think why, can you? <laughs> oh, that, that sounds like my wife coming back. Uh, I'd better um, help her with the matches. <laughs> Darling, we're back at last. What do you mean at last? Can you just down the road? Did you, uh, did you manage to get everything? Yes, of course I got everything. This is some... Um, well, she was here a minute ago. Who was? Well, this girl. What girl? Well, this girl was 
did. She, she, she was telling me to get out of her house. She what? What the hell is she playing at now? Hello? Mrs. Uh, where are you? Hello? You left and, and tried to throw me out of her house. Her house? Yeah. Well, didn't you tell her it was ours? Well, of course I did, but well, she said you'd been living here for the last 22 years. Well, that's ridiculous. That's what I said. Where was she? I don't know. She didn't give me a name. Oh, she was married, though. I do know that. Well, how do you know? Well, I called her Miss and she corrected me to Mrs. Was her husband with her? No, she said he'd gone away. The way she acted. Why? What did she do? Well, one minute she was threatening to throw me out. Next she was all over me, like, <laughs> like she fancied me or something. She what? Yeah, it's, it's a good job you came back when you did. And then she just ran off. Well, she must have done. She's not here. <laughs> Unless there's some secret room in the house we don't know about. Hardly. There's only four rooms in the place. It'd be a bit hard to hide another one. I think we should call the police, don't you? Well, tell him what? Trespass isn't a criminal offence, you know. And I wonder... What? Well, what if she's right? What if we're the trespassers? That's crazy! They did all those searches and things. Yeah, and the estate agents. And... She said Mrs Eastwood had been trying to sell the place for the last 20 years. So she told us that, too. What if it wasn't for sale? I mean, what if Mrs Eastwood... God, and Mr. Payne. Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. I hardly think an estate agent and a solicitor would put together some elaborate plot to sell us this dilapidated old place. You read about these things. Now, come on, who would you believe? An estate agent with several branches and a partner in a law firm? Or some cranky woman who turns up out of the blue, claims she owns this house, tries to seduce you? And then runs off like a scared rabbit the minute I come back. All right, all right. Point taken. She just seems so believable. Most con artists are. I really do think we should call the police. I suppose so. We have to, Rick. She could be dangerous. Yeah, I know, but... Well, maybe we should check with Mrs Eastwood first, just to make sure. I think we should call the police now. She can't have gone very far. Maybe they could catch her. Well, out of here. She could be anywhere. And I don't think there's a police station in the village. <laughs> no, we'll leave it till the morning. Well, all right, then, if you think that's best. One good thing, though. What? At least you've started calling it our house again. Ten minutes ago, you were ready to walk out of here. Yes, I'm sorry. I was just cold and tired from the journey. <laughs> and now? No problem. I'm not cold anymore. What was that? Well, sounds like she's back again. <laughs> oh! Is this the one? You must be joking. I wouldn't want her to seduce me. <laughs> Since then, it's been like Euston Station. How, the, how many more people just come and go as they please in this place? It's more like a timeshare than a home. I don't understand. Are you trying to tell me that you've actually bought the place? Oh, very good. You catch it on. <laughs> I had no idea the place had been sold. Oh, do accept my deepest apologies. I'm Charlotte, by the way. Charlotte Swift. Pleased to meet you, Mrs. Swift. Um, it's Miss Actually. But uh, you can call me Charlotte. <laughs> Rick Maddox. Uh, 
This is Vicky. Pleased to meet you and um, your key. Oh, you. I really had no idea somebody had moved in. Didn't you notice the light was on? Mm. Oh, yes, of course I did, but that's not unusual. I mean, the lights are off. Oh, oh. I suppose that's, that's Mrs. Whatever her name is. The young one. She knew your key as she got her own. Have you seen her? Yeah, she was here a few minutes ago. Is she, um, is she still about? No, she ran off as soon as I came in. What about <coughs> the husband? Was he here too? No. Why? Ah, oh, well, <laughs> it was lovely to meet you both. I'm so sorry to intrude. I'll, I'll leave you in peace now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you know this woman? Know her? No, I don't know her. I mean, I've never actually seen her. And what did you come here for? I, um, uh, well, just keeping an eye on the place, really. But, uh, well, now you two are here. <laughs> I'll be off then. Bye. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> I wonder who she was. God knows. <laughs> At least she didn't try and throw us out. <laughs> or seduce you. Oh, don't be disgusting. Oh, I see. So it's all right for this other one to have a go at you, but not uh -huh. her. Quite right. <laughs> now, come on, we've got to get on with the unpacking. We'll never get a night's sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, Rick, I've gone cold again. There you are. Where the hell did you get to? Oh, this is Vicky, my wife. You never did say what your name was. Uh, Jessica. Right. Rick, what? Now, before you dash off again, can we get one thing straight once and for all? Stop it, happening. Rick. You're making me nervous. What are you doing? Well, I'm just explaining to Jessica here. This Rick, is... Rick! There's nobody there. some sort of joke, Rick. It's not very funny. Joke? I don't understand. She's getting cross, Ricky. <laughs> don't call me Ricky. Why not? It's a better name than Vicky. Ricky and Vicky. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Didn't what? Call you Ricky. I hate that name. Well, then I shall always use it. Ah. I, I was talking to her. Stop it, Rick. Stop what? Just because I got nervous before, there is no need to play jokes on me. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like it, Rick. You may think it's hilariously bloody funny, but I don't. What are you going on about? If you're going to be so cruel, <coughs> you can damn well sleep on your own tonight. I'm going to unpack. Vicky! You still don't understand, do you, Ricky? Don't you talk to me. Can't you see the trouble you've caused? I told you, Vicky's a child's name. She even behaves like one. Just leave her out of it. How on earth did you two end up together? Vicky and Vicky. Vicky and Ricky. Well, surely you can do better than that. It's got nothing to do with you. Oh, but it has. You're in my house, remember. Once and for all. And I have to look after my guests, don't I? Well, will you stop that? My little wife's just upstairs. I don't care. Well, I do. Come and sit with me. Well, I think you'd better go now. Go where? This is my home. Well, go wherever it is you went to last time. I didn't go anywhere. I was here all the time. Here? But, but I, I... Oh, you're so slow, aren't you? Am I? Very. Vicky wasn't lying before, you know. Lying? What, what about? When she said that there was nobody here. What? But, but she I... can't see me. Can't? And this house has been empty for the last 20 years. But, but you said... Ever uh... since... I died. <laughs> I take it you don't believe in ghosts, then? Ghosts? No. I, I was born 43 years ago. Don't you think I look good for my age? But you can't be a ghost. I mean, ghosts do all sort of walk. Walk through walls, clank around in chains, carrying their heads under their arms? No, I'm afraid not. What you see, Ricky, is what you get. But you can't be a ghost. I, I, I can feel you and, and touch you. And I can feel and touch you, too. <laughs> nice, eh? Hey? But, but, but you're warm. Ghosts are supposed to be cold. Oh, I think you'll find I'm far from cold. 
Get out of it. Who the hell are you? Oh, now you're being tiresome, Ricky. Can't you believe what your eyes tell you? I believe you're trying to pull some fast one. I don't know what it is you're after. Company. That's what I'm after. Can't you imagine how awful it's been trapped in this house for the last 20 years with no one to talk to? You should be flattered. You're the first one I've ever materialised to. What do you want? Well, you, for starters. Will you stop that? All right, I'll prove it to you. Call her down. What? Your wife. What? What's her name? Vicky? Yes, call her down and I'll show you. What are you going to do to her? Nothing. Oh, look, I promise. She won't even know I'm here. Call her down and tell her you're sorry. Don't say anything to me or about me. And I'll prove it to you. If she sees me, I'll leave this house and I'll never come back. But if she doesn't, then well, you'll know I'm right, won't you? All right. I will. Vicky! What? Will you come down a moment? No. Please? Not until you apologise. All right, darling. I'm sorry. Will you come down? Well, I'm sorry, darling. I didn't mean to upset you. It wasn't very kind, was it? You knew I was frightened. Forgive me? See, she doesn't even know I'm here. <laughs> promise not to do it again. I promise. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, what a dreadful skirt. <laughs> what <laughs> was it? That draught again, it went right to my skirt. <laughs> Again, you promised. I'm not starting anything again. I, I just wonder if we, if you've been so nervous and everything, whether that's what you were frightened of. I don't know what I was frightened of. I was, I was just aware of an atmosphere, cold and threatening. Well, they're not cold. What? Um, ghosts. Uh, that's what I've read. When when people claim to have seen them, that is. Well, that's what I felt. But... Like you say, it was probably tiredness and draughts. Yes. <laughs> do you do you feel cold now? No. Good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, really, I can feel it again. It's all right. It's just a draught. I, I felt it too. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Did you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Better now. Mm. Yeah. Convinced? You see, I'm warm if I like you. And very, very cold if I don't. And I, I don't like her. She's a wimp. Shh. Tell her to get, get rid of her. Go, go, tell her to go upstairs or something. Then we can be alone. Oh, I could quite easily frighten the pants off her. Some moving furniture, a few cold breaths. And I've had 20 years' experience. I'm very good. Oh, well. I suppose you better get on with the unpacking, haven't you? Yes, all right, yeah. darling. Yeah, off you go. Aren't you coming up? <coughs> no, little girl. He's staying here with me. I'll be up in a few minutes. I, I want to see if I can get the boiler going. Oh, easy. You don't have to say. <laughs> what was that? Well, it, it sounded like... <sighs> Rig? <laughs> what is it, Rig? It's the boiler. It's just come on. But that's impossible. Oh, Rick, I'm getting now feeling again. It's all right, darling. I, I was having a go at it while you were out. The timer must have just clicked in. Oh, very good, Ricky. You do think fast. Yeah, I was, I was just having a look at it when you came back. It seems to be working now. Go on, off you go. Yes, off you go, Victoria. Ricky and I have some unfinished business. <laughs> Don't be long, will you? <laughs> Perhaps we could have a proper honeymoon night. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi, Ricky. Play your cards right, you could be in there. <laughs> Ten minutes at the most. <laughs> Believe me now. Well, either that or I'm going loopy. You're as sane as you ever were. Not that that's anything to go by. What's that supposed to mean? 
However did you manage to get yourself saddled with a drip like that? Oh, Vicky? Oh. Yes, Vicky. What have you got against her? Everything. I don't like her. What has she ever done to hurt you? Moved into my house for a start. Even if it is your house, she wasn't a no. Well, that's no excuse. And those clothes. Oh, she's so old-fashioned. Her skirt must be six inches past her knee. You're the one that's old-fashioned. Me? Yeah. Mini skirts went out years ago. Did they? Mm. Oh, that's a shame. Well, I'm glad I'm not alive today. Do you uh, think I've got nice legs? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> then come and sit next to me. No. <clears throat> now what's the matter? Vicky. Not her again. Well, she's my wife, and I love her. Well, I don't like her, so can't we just forget about her? Oh, does that mean you don't like me either? Oh, no. I like you a lot. I've got totally different plans for you. Will you stop that? Behave! Well, why should I? Twenty years is a long time, and it's nice to have a man around again. And I'm a hot-blooded woman. You were, you mean? I still am, as you could find out if only you'd stop trying to resist. Get up! <laughs> what about your husband? What about him? Well, what would he think of you carrying on like this? Why would I know? I've not seen him for twenty years. Is he still alive? No, he died the same time as me. <coughs> is he here, now? Well, if he is, I haven't seen him. And even if I could, he'd hardly be in a position to object. Why not? Because in the three years we called our marriage, he had a long succession of girlfriends. He did? Yes, he did. <coughs> and now it's my chance to get my revenge. <laughs> what are you doing? Get off! I could make you like me. What do you mean? Same as I can make you go hot. <sighs> or cold. <sighs> sort of hypnosis. I can make you do anything I like. Anything at all. Oh. But it's no challenge. <laughs> what? It's no fun. I want you to want me for myself. Of your own free will. But when were you getting into your thick head? I'm married. And when were you getting into your thick head? I don't care. You're immoral. I'm entitled to be. Shh. You bring Vicky down. I won't bring her down. She can't. Remember? Yes. Yes, let's bring her down. Let's have a bit of fun. Go on, call her. No. Do as I say. <laughs> Vicky, will you come down a moment, please? What, now? Don't say anything. Just come and sit here. Uh, Were you calling me? Yes, I... Well, Tell her I'm here. She's here, Vicky. What? Who's here? Jessica. Who's Jessica? The one I told you about. The one who claims she owns the house. I do own it. The one who owns the house. Rick. I mean it, Vicky. She's here. Have you been in that brandy I bought? No, I haven't. If you're trying to scare me again, Rick, you're succeeding. I mean it, Vicky. She's here, sitting on my knee. What? She's a ghost. Well, I prefer spirit myself, but let it pass. Rick, why are you doing this? Tell her you'll prove it to her. I'll prove it to you. Huh. This should be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Rick! What? It's all right, Vicky. She won't hurt you. Yet. Love to your husband. She's here, Vicky. <laughs> Sitting on my knee. <laughs> Get away from her, Rick. Make a stop. I I'd like to, Vicky. Honestly, I would.
things? My clothes. I'm going back to Auntie Vera's. You what? You heard. This is a joke, right? Oh, if it is, it's about as funny as last <clears throat> night. Last night? What are you talking about? Don't come that innocent air with me, Rick. Innocent? Vic Vicky? What? Look, whatever it is I've done, I'll apologise. But I honestly can't remember what it was. You mean you really can't remember? No. Well, what do you remember about last night? Well, I remember you went out to the off-licence for something. <clears throat> then you came back and I must have dozed off. So you don't remember her, then? Her? Our visitor. Oh, hang on. Yes, I do. Um, what was her name? Charlotte. Not her. Not her. Our other visitor. Other visitor? Oh, Rick, if I wanted a parrot, I'd have bought one. A parrot? <laughs> what about our other visitor? Vicky, I, I honestly can't remember any other visitor. Are you trying to tell me I blacked out and lost my memory or something? I only wish I was. Remind me. Jessica? Jessica, yes. So you do remember? Some of it. <coughs> God, I thought it was a dream. Is she here now? No. Go and check the rest of the house. Do I have to? Yes, you do. Will you come with me? No. I can't see her, remember? Come on. <laughs> sign of her. Are you sure she's not in here? No, I told you. Why? I suddenly went cold. Probably just a draught. Now don't start that again. Every time I went cold last night, she was here. Well, if she is, I can't see her. What are we going to do? Where did you sleep last night? At the Swan in the village. Wish I could remember what happened. How did I come to end up sleeping here? Are you sure you're not making all of this up? Positive. Tell me what happened. She... Well, she seemed to have some sort of hold over you. You behaved like a complete pig. Did you see her? No. But I saw what was happening to you. What did I do? It's not so much what you did. More what she did. Well, are you going to tell me or not? She... You said she was sitting on your knee. Yeah. And suddenly your clothes started coming off all on their own. Oh, God, you mean she... Oh, then what happened? <laughs> no idea. I was scared stiff. I just ran. I got in the car and headed off as fast as I could. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. Thanks for deserting me. <laughs> it didn't seem like you wanted to leave. <laughs> Marvellous. Married six weeks and my husband goes off with someone I can't even see. I did not go off with her. She's got some sort of hypnotic control. It's very hard to resist her. Oh, so you can remember what happened. Bits of it. It keeps coming back to me like I dreamt it. Did she, I mean, did you and she, you know? No, we did not! God, at least I don't think we did. <sighs> well, what does she want? Well, me, from what she was saying. You? Yeah, apparently her husband was some sort of womaniser. She wants to get revenge. <laughs> and she's chosen you as her instrument. Well, so it seems. And where do I fit into this little mess? You don't. She doesn't like you. <laughs> the feeling is mutual. God, I wish I knew what to do. We've got to get out, Rick. What? But we've got to, to go and get help. Uh, we could go to the vicar. They're supposed to know about these sorts of things. Uh, maybe you could do an exorcism or something. Vicky, this is our home, our dream. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your dream is turning into my nightmare. Oh, very poetic. <laughs> We've got to go and get help. I don't know what kind of control she had over you last night, but it terrifies me. 
She could get you to do anything. I'd never be safe. Vicky, you know I'd never do anything to hurt you. No, but she would. We've got to go. Put your shirt on. Oh, come on. Maybe we should go to the estate agent. See if anyone else has ever seen anything. Well, they'll think you're mad. Well, we could go to the library and find out more about the place. Well, that might help the vicar. Well, all right then, but come on. But stop. Hey. Come on, Rick. Oh, you didn't really think I'd let you go, did you? I can't, I can't move. Yes, you can, Ricky, just not that way. Hey. Well, wait, what's happening? It's her. Jessica, she, she won't let me leave. You go, get out while you can. I'm oh. not letting her have you. Don't do it. you That's not very ladylike, is it? Leave her alone, damn you! I'm too late, I'm already damned. Where is she, Ricky? Just don't hurt her. Oh, don't worry, she's not worth the effort. Speak to me, Rick, where is she? She's over by the door. Now look, I don't know who you are, and I don't honestly give a damn. No, Vicky, don't, I... No, Ricky, let her talk. It amuses me. But if you think I'm going to give up my home and my husband to some trollop. <laughs> trollop! Then you've got another thing coming. I'll fight you all the way, I swear I will. I'll fight? What? We have to swap you like a fly. So leave us alone, if you know what's good for you. I'm getting bored now. <laughs> See you later, darling. <coughs> Bye, Victoria, don't go away now. I don't know how I can fight you, but there must be a way. And sooner or later, I'll find it. She's gone. Where? I don't know. Out there, wherever it is she goes. Go and check. <sighs> Come on, then. Now's our chance. Suggestions? Look around. See if you can find any papers or, or diaries or anything. What for? Well, it might give us a clue as to who she is. Well, yeah, it helps if we know who we're dealing with. <coughs> Maybe we could find out a bit more about her and, uh, I don't know, find a way to persuade her to let us go. Well, some hope. Well, it's better than just sitting around moping. psychics and mediums, but the results of his methods are without equal. Well, I've never heard of him. Why should we have heard of him? It's a bit suspicious finding it there, isn't it? Why is it? The place is haunted. There's probably been hundreds of cranks crawling all over it. Anyone could have left it here. What if she left it? Jessica? Why? I don't know. Maybe it's a trap. We're already trapped. Mm. <clears throat> Chapter 9. The exorcism. Hmm. There is tr little, um, sorry, there's little evidence to suggest that the traditional exorcism, as practiced by the clergy over the past few centuries, is effective. Mm. 
The results have usually been simply to enrage the presence. Presence? Well, I think he means a ghost. Mm. Oh. The results are seldom permanent, often with the presence returning within a matter of hours. Frequently stronger. Oh, I think he's telling us not to dabble. Look, perhaps we should... Shh, shh, I'm only reading. I, I'm not going to do anything. An effective permanent method involves the waving of a cross in a room frequented by the presence. The person waving the cross must recount three times, and three times only, in the name of this cross and the power within, spirit return to whence you came. What a load of rot! Well, how do you know? You don't actually believe any of this, do you? Well, if you'd asked me a couple of days ago, I'd have said no. Today, I'm not so sure. Put it down, Vicky. You don't know what you're playing with. Perhaps we should do something. We need a cross. <clears throat> what? Vicky, you said you weren't going to do anything. Says here, a cross can be fashioned from any suitable material at hand. Even cross sticks will do. Sounds like one of those old vampire movies. I know. There we go, these will do. Vicky, don't. What choice do we have? <sighs> In the name of this cross and the power within, spirit return to whence you came. In the name of this cross and the power within, spirit return to whence you came. No! Stop it! Make her stop! What? Please! In the name of this no. cross and the power within, no. spirit return to whence you came. No. Vicky, something's happening. What? What? Has she gone? Not exactly. Well, then what? Well, she's not very pleased. I wonder how long it takes to work. What have you done? Well, you can't say you didn't deserve it. Oh, none of us deserve this. Is she getting upset? Yeah, you could say that. <laughs> Serves her right. <laughs> what have you done, you bitch? Why couldn't you just stop meddling in things? Who are these people, Jessie? Hello, Ronnie. Who on earth are you? Vicky? Who the hell are you talking to? Ronnie. Hi, pleased to meet you. Look, Jessie, what, what the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? And who's this? Who? She means him. Who? Him! Who are they? Don't you start. Don't who start? What? Oh, this is ridiculous. What is? What is what? What? Don't you see what you've done? Who? Who what? Uh, you keep out of this. I'll explain everything. I wish someone would. Wish someone would what? Rick, what are you talking you about? You stay out of this. She's going to explain everything. Oh, you mean she's still here? Will you tell her to shut up? Yes. Shh. But who? Shh. Where did you get that book? Well, we found it back there. Why? Is it yours? No, it is not. And why do you have to go and meddle in things you don't understand? What? What? That incantation? What? what? Well, we were just trying to get rid of you. You mustn't take it personally. Uh, 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 we just wanted a house back, that's all. But you haven't got it, have you? Well, no, but as they say, nothing ventured. Well, you tried to get rid of your troubles, and all we have succeeded in doing is doubling them. Doubling them? I don't understand. 
What are you talking about? Shh, Jessie. Shh. But who? Shh. <laughs> All your little incantation achieved is to materialise my poor, dear, departed husband. What? Except you can't see him. But here now? Can you see him? Yes, unfortunately. What's even worse, it appears your dear wife can also see him. Picking? What? What are you saying? What's she saying? <laughs> and don't you dare shush me. You're not going to believe this. <laughs> Try me. Your little incantation, it failed. Well, so I gather. But I intend to try again, believe me. Oh, don't do that for heaven's sake. You'll only make things worse. If that's possible. How can they get worse? They already have. You've materialised her husband. I... What? You've materialised? Yes, I heard what you said. You mean this... <gasps> this is... Pleased to meet you. I'm Ronnie. Likewise, I'm sure. No, 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 what? No, no, no. He's very polite. You don't no, know him like I do. No, no, what? No, no, no. Come on, tell him the rest. Oh, well, it seems your incantation. Less of the your. It was your idea too. Mine? Yeah. Ours then. All right, all right. Our incantation has made it so that you can see and hear him. Well, and as you know, I can see and hear her. But I can't see or hear him. And you can't see or hear her. Can they see each other? Well, of course we can, you pathetic little moron. How else would I know he's here? See, your language hasn't improved much, has it? Oh, bugger off. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> yes, apparently they can. So, you're a ghost. So it would seem. Hang on, I thought you were afraid of ghosts. Oh, so did I. Before, <laughs> Before what? Before I met one. In the flesh. We need to talk. Ex uh, yes, Jesse, we need to talk. Oh, don't call me Jesse. I hated it when I was alive and I still... You haven't improved. And I still hate it. Sorry, Jesse. <laughs> Are you getting any of this? Not really. You? No, uh, half of it, but it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Nor does the other half. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you do. find it so amusing, Victoria. You may not be able to see me, but I can make life very unpleasant for you if I wanted to. You, you leave her alone! <laughs> <laughs> wow, it seems I have two champions. Is she threatening me? Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Now look here, Jessie. We need to talk. Excuse us, we need to talk. Oh, don't let us keep you. We'll just wander off down the pub. I can't, remember? <sighs> you, Jessica, wherever you are. Will you let me have my husband back for an hour or two? No, I won't. No, she won't. Let them <laughs> go, Jessie. We'll come back, honestly. It is our house, after all. No, I will not let them go. Not until we decide what we're going to do. Looks like we're stuck here, Vicky. <laughs> you may be, but I'm not. Stop her! How? Just think it! <laughs> What's the matter, Vicky? <laughs> I thought you were leaving. Damn you, you bitch, wherever you are! Oh, see what you married, Ricky. <laughs> Hardly the demure little wife now, is she? No. Now, to deal with you. Well, what I want to know is what the hell is going on here? Well, you've been materialised, my darling. Oh, is that good? No, it's bad. Very bad. Oh, I'm shattered. What time is it? 10.15. Thanks. What year is it? 1986. Now listen. 1986?! Yes, you've been dead for 20 years. I have? Yes, and up, and na up until now you've been dead and gone. And now, thanks to these two do-it-yourself psychics, you're dead and back again. Well, you've not changed much in 20 years. No, neither of you. You're still as disgusting as you ever were. <laughs> it sounds like they're having a domestic. <laughs> yes, I know. I feel I'm crying. I'd leave if I could. Will you two shut up? Why should we? It's our house. Their house? Did you sell up? No, I did not. As far as, thing, as far as the living are concerned, this house has been empty for the last 20 years. Ever since we died. Normally, a few 
crank bashes and crashes around, flashing lights has been enough to put people off. Until now. That did attract a few ghost hunters over the years, but if you keep quiet, they normally get bored and go away. So obviously it didn't work with these two, did it? What didn't? What didn't what? Oh, God, don't start all that again. <coughs> no, as you point out, it didn't. All because I get fed up and lonely and wanted a man in my life again. Oh, but Jessie, dear, uh, you should have called me. I said a man, not a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to do it? There I was, peacefully minding my own business. He when can't all... hear you. Oh. Why did you have to do it? There I was, peacefully minding my own business, when all of a sudden I'm here, under the thumb again. Don't you look at me like that. I didn't want you back. I tried to stop them. All I wanted to... Who's that? Is someone coming up the path? Oh, no. Well, then how can she want? Ah, so that's where you went, was it? Can't be I'm surprised. Should I go? Then again, perhaps not. Lasted woman again. What, what woman? The old bag from the village. Who? She reckons she's a psychic. And is she? Bloody nosy Parker, more like. You'll have to get rid of her. Me? What? Why well, should I get rid of her? Why can't you feel so damn good at scaring them off? Well, don't you think I've tried? The old bat's too stupid to be scared. Uh, can I try? No, you'll never do it. You never did have much faith in my abilities, did you? No. Used to sleep with you, remember? <laughs> and I had the old complaints. You two will have to get rid of her. You come with me. But why? Can't I stay and watch? No! Why not? Because I can't scare her off, and I've had 20 years' experience. The last three of them with her. You're, you're scared of her, aren't you? No, of course not. Yes, you are. I've seen you like this before. No, it, it's just... What? about her. I think she might be able to see me. Wonderful. Let's call her in. What's going on? No, get rid of her. Or what? Or I'll never let you out of this house again. Either of you. We'll find a way, sooner or later. Oh, don't underestimate the powers of things you can't even begin to understand, Ricky. I'm beginning to understand. <laughs> She knows, or thinks she knows. Well, you'll have to let me get to the front door. You'll find you can get to the front door, but no further. You, come with me. strangers to the area. <laughs> Do you know this house well? Well? Um, yes, you said you've been looking after the place. Did I? 
Yes. That's how come you had a key. Oh, well, uh, yes, I have had a tie. <laughs> you don't sound very sure. Oh, you're not annoyed. Why should we be annoyed? It's only been our house for a few days. Yeah, we're still not sure. I beg your pardon? Uh, and we're still not sure if we were uh, wise to buy it. <laughs> but it was all we could afford. Oh, oh, I see. Perhaps you could tell us a bit about the place. <coughs> like what? Well, for example, could you tell us anything about the previous occupants? Why do you ask that? Well, we heard that a couple lived here years ago. But the estate agent said the place has been empty for 20 years. We're just curious. Hmm. Um, can we put our cards on the table, so to speak? What do you mean? You know, <coughs> don't you? You've seen things. Seen things? I've seen things too. The, the lights going on and off, and bangs and crashes, things not being where they, should, they were left. Oh, they think I'm quite mad down in the village, but uh, you have, haven't you? You've seen things. Yes, yes, we have. <gasps> oh, this is wonderful, wonderful. Do tell me all about it. Well, first of all... It was just like you said. Uh, bangs, crashes, lights, that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, you haven't seen them, have you? Them? The couple that used to live here. No, no, we haven't. Oh, that's a pity. Who were they? Well, from what I've been able to find out from the papers at the time, and by talking to the, the people in the village, a young couple lived here, newlyweds just like yourselves. Only the house wasn't run down like it is now. Three years they lived here. Then one morning, the postman came by with a parcel. Well, he couldn't get any reply, so he left the parcel on the doorstep. Oh, you didn't have to worry about people stealing things in those days. But um, the next morning he came by and the parcel was still there. Well, he knew they hadn't gone away, so he became suspicious. He went in round the back door and he found them. Dead? Yes, both of them. Poisoned, I believe. Ooh, how horrible! Oh, I wish we'd known this before we bought the place. Well, the police came, but uh, couldn't find anything and put it down to a suicide pact. Suicide? Why? Search me. Probably because they couldn't find any evidence to the contrary. Well, maybe they were right. Well, I doubt it. Uh, from what I've heard from the village locals, he was a bit of a womaniser, and that she'd found out and killed him, and then killed herself the same way. Oh, that's terrible. How do you know all this? Like I said, the local papers and talking to the people. I've got all the press cuttings. I'm a bit of an amateur psychic, you see, and uh, I'm sure this house is haunted. Well, the locals won't even come up here now, and now you've seen things too. You say you've got all the press cuttings? Oh, yes, a whole scrapbook for... Could we see them? Well, I suppose so. I tell you what, why don't you come down to the inn tonight and I'll bring them along? Yes, all right, we will. No, Vicky, we, uh, we can't go out, remember? Can't we? No, we can't. We have to stay in. We're expecting visitors. Oh, yes, I forgot. Yeah. Perhaps... Perhaps you could bring them round here. Yes, of course oh, I could. Um, I tell you what, I'll bring them round in the morning, shall I? About nine? Yes, that'll be fine. OK, I'll be off then. <laughs> Charlotte, yes? before you go, have you actually ever seen a ghost? Sadly, no. Um, heard them, seen things move, but... If you did, would you know how to get rid of her? Uh, or him, <coughs> whichever. Well, not having any practical experience, um, I'm not sure, but I could give it a try. Well, I've got several books on the subject. In fact, that's the reason I came back. I've lost the one that I was going to use. It's a very rare one, quite unusual. 
Well, we'll have a look for it while we're uh, tidying up. Uh, perhaps it'll turn up. Uh, let me see. I, I came in through the door, and I turned round and saw you, and I dropped all my books. So it should be here somewhere. Ah! Oh. Here it is. Marvellous what you can do when you put your mind to it. Retrace your steps, and there it is. What exactly is the book? It's called The Spirit World, The Paranormal Explained. It's by this chap called Walter Stein. But traditional spiritualists think some of his ideas were a little bit too radical. And you? Well, I like to keep an open mind. I have tried one of two of his methods. The odd incantation has brought about some small response. <sighs> Would you mind if I borrowed it? You? Well, yes, I'm quite interested. If I have to live in a haunted house, I'd at least like to know what I'm dealing with. No, sorry, that's quite out of the question. Oh. Look, uh, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but, uh, well, you mustn't dabble in things you don't know, my dear. If you were to try some of the ideas in here and got them wrong, well, who knows what damage you could do. You've got a fair idea. I don't? <laughs> I said that seems very fair, dear. You don't want to do any damage, do you? Don't I? No, you don't. I, well, I've heard of untrained people trying to do exorcisms, and they've never got rid of the presence. Never? Never. In that case, you keep your book. <laughs> very wise, my dear, very wise. Now, I really must be off. Uh, so, till tomorrow, then. I'll see you out. <laughs> And we'll see you out. <laughs> Till tomorrow, then. Tomorrow. Bye. Bye. She was right. Charlotte? Jessica. I tried to step out onto the drive. Couldn't. What are we going to do? Oh, there's not a lot we can do. Just have to wait and see what they do next. At least we don't seem to be in any danger as long as we do what they say. Oh, this doesn't seem real. I'm not dreaming, am I? Oh, I only wish you were. <laughs> why did you say you wanted to borrow that book? I was intrigued to know why she was so eager to have it back. Well, it is hers. And why did you hide it again? I didn't want her to know we'd seen it. Why not? It's just something about that book. What makes you say that? I don't know, just a feeling. Is he here? Ronnie? No. What about her, Jessica? No. Do you think they can hear us now? I don't know. But I'm intrigued to know why they were in such a hurry to leave when Charlotte turned up. She might have been. He didn't seem in the slightest bit bothered. <laughs> I wonder if they're scared of her. Who, Charlotte? Oh, don't be ridiculous. She's a crane. Well, to you, maybe. But to a ghost. Well, I mean, look what you managed to do, just reading one of her spells at random. You ain't got a clue what you were doing. But she has. Imagine what she might be able to do to them. Oh, I wish we'd been able to hang on to that book. I could have had another go. I'm glad she took it back. Why? You tried to get rid of Jessica. And all you managed to do was reincarnate her husband. I'd have got the hang of it, sooner or later. Yeah, by that time, you'd have reincarnated their pet dog, cat and a couple of deceased goldfish. <laughs> <clears throat> so you're back then, are you? She's not very nice to me, is she? I don't think she likes me very much. Yeah, you could be right there. What do you mean, could be right? Is she or isn't she? Yes, she is, and I was talking to her. Tell her my husband wants to see her. <coughs> what does he want? I don't know. I gave up trying to find out what he wants years ago. <coughs> What's she saying? Her husband wants you. Ronnie? Oh, so we're on first name terms already, are we? <coughs> what does she... what does he want? Oh, she doesn't know. Well, why doesn't he come himself? Oh, for God's sake, just tell her to get out. Have a heart, she's frightened. I am not.
did you? Oh, you can't blame me for trying. No, maybe not. <coughs> Interesting that you were prepared to run off and leave the little woman, though. What do you mean? You're not very chivalrous, was it? You can't care about her that much. Of course I care. She's my wife. So? Ron is my husband. I couldn't give a damn about him. <laughs> well, I care about Vicky. Mm, yet you were prepared to leave her with Ronnie and me. I was going for help. <laughs> help? Who are you going to get? Well, I don't know. The police, I suppose. <laughs> what were you going to tell them? You've bought this house and it's got two ghosts in it. I don't know. It was a spur-of-the-moment thing. Come and sit down. No. I could make you. All right. All right. <sighs> now, you've just discovered one of our little weaknesses, haven't you? I don't know what you mean. Oh, come on, Ricky. You're not stupid, nor am I. All right. All right. Yes, I think I have. Well? You can only control one of us at a time, can't you? Very good. But you didn't realise it any quicker. You could have been in the village by now. What about Vicky? Ron is looking after Vicky. He quite fancies her, you know. What's she doing to Sit her? Sit down. Please. What's he doing to her? I don't know what he's doing to her, and quite frankly, I don't care. Well, aren't you jealous? Of him? With her? Well, surely you were happy once. Once, maybe, but that was a long time ago. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Still hurts, then? No, I couldn't give a damn. Oh, sounds like it. Well, if you must know, I got fed up with his succession of women. What went wrong? I don't know. He used to travel a lot. He used to sell the latest hits to the record shops. One time when he was away, he got a letter from one of his women. Stupid little teenage typist. Stereotype dumb blonde. <laughs> I asked him about it straight out when he got back. And? We denied it, of course. He reckoned it had come to the wrong address. But you didn't? No, of course not. Then I started to remember all the odd times when the telephone had rung with uh, wrong numbers. Well, they were obviously his women. He used to phone me from the hotels when he was away, so I started to ring him back. Sometimes he wasn't even registered. Why didn't you just divorce him? It wasn't as easy in those days. I kept confronting him about it, and in the end he didn't even bother to deny it. He used to argue incessantly. Looking back, murder was the only answer. Murder? <laughs> yes. You mean you killed him? Me? No, of course not. Well, I wish I had. No, he murdered me. I don't believe it. Well, it doesn't matter if you believe it or not. The evidence is before your eyes. He actually murdered you? Yes. Poison, the police said. Police? Yes, I actually watched my own murder investigation. Of course, I couldn't talk to anybody about it, so they never did find out what happened. How did he poison you? Well, we were sleeping in separate bedrooms by then, and he put this stuff on the doorknob, so the police said. You absorb it through your skin. You're very calm about it. Well, what's the point? I can hardly get my revenge, can I? No, I suppose not. Well, how did he die? And of that, I'm not quite so certain. From, from what I could gather, he got a bit sloppy and got some on his own skin. Careless, eh? But nobody found out what happened? Not as far as I know. Charlotte said the police thought it was a suicide pact. Bumbling fools. And the locals? What about them? She said popular opinion is that you found out about his women and poisoned him. What? and then killed yourself out of remorse. <laughs> well, if I had have killed the creep, which I didn't, remorse would not have been my emotion. Party would still be going on. <laughs> <laughs> he killed you. Surely you feel bitter. Well, yes, I, I did at first, but after a few years, it wears off. Well, like I said, what's the point? The bitterness I feel isn't about how he killed me. It's about how he treated me when I was alive. And? And now, thanks to your meddling, 
I have my chance for revenge. But how? Oh, well, sauce for the goose, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> The rotten cow! Uh, took the words right out of my mouth. Not to mention my pig of a husband. No, I couldn't care less about him. Well, neither could I. How long have you been married? Six weeks. Take my advice. Get out while you can. If only I'd known what he'd be like before I said yes. Well, we all change. But this has been so sudden. <sighs> to do. Why? Well, because then they'd be together. Unless you... Uh... What? No, no, nothing. Nothing. I've never seen him like this for, with a woman before. Is she very attractive or something? No, very plain. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think what I ever saw in her. When did your marriage start to go wrong? Almost straight away. About the same as yours. What happened? She didn't like me travelling. I was a salesman for a record company. I had to go round the country. Uh, she imagined I had a girl in every town. And did you? Vicky, do I look like the sort of bloke who'd treat his wife like that? Don't ask me. I obviously can't tell the difference. That's anger talking. Look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you think that's the way I'd behave? <laughs> I was innocent. I wouldn't mind, but I used to phone her every night. I mean, I ask you, would a cheating husband bother to do that? No, I suppose not. She used to check up on me. She claimed that every so often she'd call me back and get no reply. Or that the hotel would deny all knowledge of me. Between you and me, I think she lost touch with reality. Do you know what she did once? What? She wrote me a letter. Supposedly from one of my many girlfriends. She sprayed it with perfume and sent it to me here, ready to challenge me with it when, when I came back. Oh, what did you do? Told her not to be so bloody stupid. I mean, it was so obvious. For a start, the letter was typed. So? Well, what sort of a girlfriend would type a love letter? Some might. A typist, maybe. That's just what she said. But the, the letter had been posted here, in the village. And the perfume she used, well, it, it was one that I bought her for her birthday before we got married. So what did you do? Oh, what could I do? I suppose I could have tried hard to make it work, but I was under a lot of pressure. Well, in the end, I went and slept in the back bedroom. Well, the only time we spoke to one another was when she accused me of my latest supposed affair. Well, in the end, I stopped denying it. Stupid of me, I suppose. But I never thought she'd stoop to murder. What did you say? Which bit? I could have sworn you said murder. Yeah, that's right. You mean she killed you? Yeah. Didn't you know? No, I didn't. Poison me. God knows how. I never used to eat at home. <laughs> and what happened to her? I've no idea. I don't remember a thing until you brought me back. Nothing at all? Not a thing. I'm very grateful, you know. Oh. Are you? Very. <laughs> Good. What for? For bringing me back. Are you glad? Oh. What? Are you glad? I'm back. Who? Oh. Yes. Ah. Rick. Who? Rick. Your husband. Oh, him. You don't like him, do you? Oh, he's all right. I I'm just jealous, I suppose. Jealous? 
Yeah. I wish that Jessica had been like you. Do you? Yeah. You understand. Oh, goodness, where are they? Well, what does it matter? Oh, I can't believe it. My own husband has gone out on a picnic with a ghost. Well, we can go out for one as well, if you like. No, I don't <laughs> like. Oh, I don't know what I want. They'll be back soon. Come and sit down. I don't want to sit down. Vicky, look at me. Come and sit with me. <laughs> that dress is far too long. It's the fashion. Well, I don't like it. I bet you've got nice legs too. <laughs> Show me. What? Show me your legs. No, it's not right. You know you can't resist me, can you? No. Then show me your legs. Mm, a bit higher. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Honey, <laughs> 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 you bastard! Leave her alone! Trust you, Jessie. You, you always did arrive at the wrong time. I'll give you wrong time. Twenty years in hell haven't changed you one bit! Being in hell isn't that much different from living with you! Get out! What the hell were you doing? Why should you care? You're my wife! Or oh, have you forgotten? Yes! Why did you have to spoil it by reminding me? Beats me what I ever saw in you! It beats me what she sees in you! Well, at least she doesn't sit around with a skirt around her neck! So you say. I can't see her, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Bet she's got lousy legs anyway. She's got gorgeous legs. And the extremely short mini dress she wears shows them off to perfection. <gasps> now I know you've flipped. Ronnie says she's plain. Ronnie would. At least he knows how to treat a girl. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not surprised. From what Jessica says, he's had plenty of practice. <clears throat> yes, he told me about that too. How she imagined he had loads of girlfriends. That's why she killed him. Yeah, well, Jessica said that what did you say? I said she imagined he had loads of girlfriends. That's why she killed him. Why? Do you believe him? Yes. Why? Because Jessica said that he killed her. Which means she's a liar. Or he is. Or someone, someone else, else did it. Do you really think? Well, it's possible. And they each think the other one killed them. But who? Who could have done it? There's no way we could know that. It could have been anyone. Whoever it is probably moved away by now anyway. Yeah, or died themselves. Oh, God, we've got to tell them. Then? Yeah, before they do each other a mischief. Is that possible? And not content with sleeping with every woman whilst you were alive, you don't have to start from the grave! You have no room to talk. It was you that took the husband out for a picnic. Picnic? Ha! Well, I bet making love with you is the same now you're dead as when you were alive! <laughs> Jessica, it's oh, you... Oh, keep out of this. I suppose you gave her the old, my wife doesn't understand me routine. Yes, I did, as a matter of fact, because it was the truth. <laughs> Any woman that doesn't understand you must have a penis! Will you shut up? What? Oh, now, I know you can both hear me, so I'm going to talk to both of you. Rick and I have been having a little chat. Well, I bet. Shh! It seems you both think you were killed by the other, yes? What? Yes, I remember. Rick and I think we may have come up with another possibility. Well? Uh oh, someone else did it. Murdered you both. Well, that's ridiculous. Wait a minute, Jessie. It's just possible. Have you any idea who might have wanted you dead? One of your many paramours, darling. Jessie, if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times. And I that's... still don't believe you. Time to come clean, Ronnie. What do you mean? What did he say? Shh. <sighs> your wife may not have understood you. 
But I do. You do? Oh, times have changed, Ronnie. Women are much more aware these days. Trying to undress somebody else's wife while her husband and your wife are due back from a picnic at any time is not the way a devoted husband behaves. He did what? Where is it? Come on. I never said I was devoted. <laughs> She's not as stupid as I thought. She's obviously got you sus. Jessie, it's not true. I didn't do anything. You might as well admit it, Ronnie. The harm was done 20 years ago. Well, will you tell me what's going on? In a minute. Be patient. Oh, I suppose you're right. I'm sorry, Jessie. I almost believe you mean that. Mean what? I do. Really. I do. But why, Ronnie? What, what did I do wrong? You didn't do anything wrong. It, it, it wasn't you, it was me. Being in the record industry, it was so easy. Those were the days of free love and the permissive society. I was like a kid <coughs> in a sweet shop. Yes, and it cost us both our lives. Have you any idea who might have wanted you dead? Well, judging from what I've just heard, it could be half the teenagers of England. But why me? Well, perhaps one of the little darlings could live without you. If I can't have him, nobody will. We'll help you. We'll help them what? We'll find out who the killer is. Vicky, how are we going to do that? We were only kids when all this happened. So? Talk to the local people. Somebody must have seen something. Charlotte already did that. If someone else had done it, someone would have said something. Can you make a list of all your friends and acquaintances and your girlfriends? Yes. Whatever did happen to your little black book, Ronnie? I never had a little black book. But yes, we can make up a list. Yes, I'll make one too. Oh, this is a stupid... Uh, how are they going to remember all their acquaintances after 20 years? It's not 20 years to them. It's like it was yesterday. Is that true? I'm afraid so. I'm an old woman, really. Except I never got any older. Even if they do make a list, how are we going to eliminate people? Maybe Ronnie and Jessica could do some research of those who've died. Oh, no use looking at me. I, would, I wouldn't know where to start. I haven't been back long enough. I... I need to learn the tricks of the trade. Nor me. What about Jessica? No. <coughs> Marvellous. Charlotte spends all her time trying to converse with the dead, and they can't even do it for themselves. That's it. Charlotte! She could try. Well, she's coming round in the morning with the cuttings. Oh, that's ridiculous. She's a charlatan. Well, it's worth a try. Unless you can think of any better <laughs> ideas. No. Oh, well, all right, on one condition. I'm not around when she tries. Frights the life out of me. Given that it was only 20 years ago, chances are whoever it is is still alive. Especially if it is one of my yeah. girlfriends. Just make the list. Rick and I will start to research the living. We can start with local people and gradually work wider. We'd have to find proof. Let's worry about that once we've found the killer. Come on, you. Let's go and get a night's <laughs> sleep. Come on, soup stud. Looks like we're in the spare
I fancied him. <sighs> Any sign of Charlotte? Not yet. <coughs> oh, take that apron off. You look stupid. Where's Ronnie? No idea. Jessica? Standing next to you. I have to say, it's been an experience tidying up while seeing cushions and throws apparently floating through mid-air. Oh, well, you should worry. I wish you'd tell her to watch where she's walking. Will you two stop bickery? I wouldn't believe you if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. How two women can have an argument when one of them can't even see the other. <laughs> What's she saying? Nothing. She just wishes she'd watch where you're walking, that's all. Well, I do. I avoid everything I can see. Stop talking about me as if I'm not here. Perhaps you could carry something round so I could avoid her. Hey, that's not a bad idea. If you could carry something visible, Jessica, and so could Ronnie, well, well then we know where you are. Hey, try this. If you think I am walking around carrying that, you can think again. All the bloody stupid ideas. <clears throat> what did she say? She wasn't very keen on the idea. <laughs> Is she shouting at me? How on earth did you know that? Call it women's intuition. <laughs> Tell her to go to hell! Will you two stop it? We're supposed to be working together to find the killer, remember? Now, Vicky, say you're sorry to Jessica. Sorry. It's <laughs> better. Jessica, say you're sorry to Vicky. <gasps> Get stuffed! <laughs> Tell her I accept her apology. You can tell her yourself, remember? I'd rather you told her. All right, all right. Jessica, Vicky accepts your apology. But I didn't apologise. I've got nothing to be sorry for. And Vicky, uh, Jessica accepts your apology too. Okay. <coughs> That'll be Charlotte. Time for me to leave. We can stay if you want. No, I've told you psychics give me the creeps. What about Ronnie? Well, Ronnie will be with me. Oh, good morning, Lord. How are we? Oh, fine, thank you. Here, let me take your things. Bitterly cold this morning. Morning, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. Oh, do sit down. Thank you. Would you like a coffee? Oh, yes, please, dear. Anything to keep back the chill. How do you like it? Strong, please. No milk and no sugar. Rick? Please. Don't start without me. Instant coffee. <laughs> oh, I had the kettle on when you arrived. I only had to pour it. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, did you bring the cuttings? Oh, yes, they're all in here. Right, now mm. let's see. <clears throat> this one was from the Daily Express. The uh, Nationals were quite interested for a couple of days, but soon lost interest. Mm. That one is Ronald, the husband, and that one is Jessica, the wife. Oh, she's very attractive. Not at all plain. Mm. No, they were both quite good looking, judging by the photograph, that is. Yeah, he looks quite good in a flash sort of way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can see why women found him very attractive. Sad, really. His attraction was part of his downfall. Uh, <clears throat> this one is from the local papers. Uh, they've closed down now, but I managed to get this from the <coughs> archives. Um, that was the inspector in charge of the case. Oh, dreadful mouth, bumbling and confident. He was the one who came up with the suicide pact idea. Have you spoken to him? No, he's dead now. I take it you don't agree with the suicide pact theory? No, I don't. Why not? Well, he's supposed to have <coughs> all these girlfriends, yes? Yes. None of whom ever came forward. Well, I don't see what Which that... cast doubt on whether there were any girlfriends in the first place. Despite that, it seems that it was a troubled marriage. Well, how do you know? Well, I, I've spoken to everybody who knew them at the time. And I can assure you it was not a happy marriage, after the first flush, that is. I'm forced to conclude, therefore, that uh, 
Two such disparate souls would not enter into any sort of pact, let alone suicide. Well, that all sounds reasonable. Yeah, except in that, and added to the lack of evidence of his supposed girlfriends, well, leads me to believe that she probably killed him because she thought he was being unfaithful to her. But who killed her? Well, that I'm not so certain of. It's possible that she killed herself. Though whether it was out of remorse or fear of getting caught or perhaps even by accident. Well, could remain a mystery for all time. Well, that all sounds very plausible. Yes. Oh, yes. That's absolute rubbish. Oh, I didn't kill him. She's got it all wrong. Oh, really cold this morning. All right, I will go, but I will be listening. She's got it all wrong. I'm sorry about that. Sorry about what? <coughs> The cold. Oh, I should have turned the heater up. Yeah. Oh, no matter, no matter. Um, this one was taken at the funeral. Where did you get that? Well, this was from Mr Shorter. He was a photographer with the local press. Well, he also ran a photography business in the village. He's retired now, but he let me run me through all his photographs in the attic. Well, how do you know it's from their funeral? Well, mm. Ronnie and Jessica's. It could have been anyone. Mm. It's written on the back, my dear. Mr Shorter is very, very meticulous. Well, who are all these people? Right, now, let me see. Um, those are his parents there, and that's his <coughs> brother and his family. And those are her parents and her two sisters. And those? Um, that was a man he used to work with. Oh, and that woman was um, a best friend, a bridesmaid at their wedding, I believe. And what about those three? I really don't know. As you can see, their faces aren't very clear. I've tried to trace them, but... They could be the missing girlfriends. Mm. Possible, but I doubt it. I mean, like I said, everything I've tried to trace has drawn a blank on the girlfriends. And they're hardly going to come to the funeral. <laughs> no, I suppose not. <laughs> That's very much it, really. The rest are very alike, but um, you're welcome to borrow it if you want to. Yes, please. <laughs> we'll make sure you get them back, don't worry. Thank you. <laughs> Charlotte, you believe this house is haunted, don't you? Oh, yes, that's why I keep coming back here all these years. And I presume you think it's the dead couple who haunt the place? Possibly both, or perhaps just the one. What? exactly have you seen here? Well, not a great deal in the spiritual sense. I mean, the lights come on and off by themselves and there's the odd crashes and bangs, but well, that's not particularly unusual. I've been to many houses where that sort of thing has gone on. But <coughs> what draws you to this house in particular? Well, young man, there's something special about this house. It's a sort of atmosphere. Mm. Something that's very difficult to explain to the uninitiated. Unless, of course, you've experienced something. Uh, no, no, we haven't, have mm. we? Not a thing. No. Well, there you are, you see, I have. Mm. I mean, sometimes it's like a very cold breeze, but the air is quite still. Mm. Other times, it's like an overwhelming warmth. But it's there, I know it is. Have you ever tried to exorcise it? Good heavens, no, my dear. I don't want it to go away. I want to bring it back. I want to talk to it. I want to see it. Oh, there's so much to le be learned, my dear. Yeah. What about a seance? Have you ever tried that? Well, no, I haven't. You see, for a seance, you need at least three people. And, I mean, why are the, the villagers sort of... Um, tolerate my eccentricity rather than cooperate with me. <laughs> we could do it with you. Vicky? We could. It's our house. It's only right that we should. Oh, I couldn't ask you, could I? Yes, please. We'd like to, wouldn't we, Rick? Oh. Wouldn't we, Rick? Yes, I suppose so. Oh, good, then we'll do it. What do we need? Um, well, we need some lettered cards. I've got some in my bag outside. And a glass. And, um, let's see. If you can move that table into the light, please. <gasps> I'm going to get my card.
You said she was plain. Who? Jessica. So? Well, she didn't exactly look plain. So? You'd only have worried. Worried? Shh. Oh, I don't believe it. A Ouija board? Oh, you might scoff, young man, but the effects can be very effective. Mm. Now then, you sit um, there and you sit there. Aren't we supposed to dim the lights or something? Whatever for? <laughs> now then, right index finger onto the glass next to mine. Come on, Rick. Right, now concentrate. What on? Rick. Who's the really body there? Who's the really body there? Of course, they're bloody well is. You already know that. Yes, yes, I can feel something. Oh, Rick, both hands on the table, please. <laughs> what is it? Can't, can't you feel it? The, the presence. I can't feel a thing. Uh, I'm beginning to feel something. <laughs> <laughs> Through. Who is there? Tell us who is there? <laughs> Nothing's happening. Patience, oh. my dear, patience. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> who is trying to get through? The silly cow out of her misery. <gasps> J E S S Jessica. <gasps> it's her. It's the wife. Ooh, the wife. <laughs> No, it's her, Vicky. She's here. I, I mean, I think she's really here. It's the wife. It's communicating through your husband. Oh, yes. oh, I'd never have guessed. Now what do we do? I don't know. You're the psychic. Oh, Ricky, this is a total <coughs> waste of time. She might think she's made some major breakthrough, but we're no further on than we were last night. How about we try and communicate with the husband? Well, we could give it a try. Now, you hold on to the wife. Don't let her go. Oh, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Did you feel <laughs> <do? laughs> Yes, it's very strong. Right, yeah. Yeah, I felt it all right. <laughs> what about the husband? Well, we can tell him, dear. Oh, this is marvellous, marvellous. Right. <coughs> Fingers on the glass again. Oh, uh, yes. <clears throat> Is there anybody else there? Is Ronald there? Ronald, are you there? Ronnie, you wanted? Completely <laughs> 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 say the old bat's mad. <laughs> Leave him alone, Jessie. He's married. What's she doing? What's who doing? <laughs> My wife. <laughs> What's she doing? <laughs> It's pathetic. <laughs> we agreed really to give it a try, Jessie. I know we did, but it's a waste of time. Not necessarily. See if she can raise anyone else. Well, like who? Like our killer, Jessie. That's what we're here for, isn't it? Pretend you're me. I want to find my killer. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to find my killer. <laughs> this can't be happening. <laughs> That's no joke. That's not Vicky talking. <laughs> yes, I want to find my killer. Your wife killed you. It was in all the papers. But tell her I didn't do it. Tell her Jessie didn't do it. Just tell her. I didn't do it. <laughs> Kill me. Tell us someone killed us both. Someone else did it. Murdered us both. No! <laughs> it's not true. She did it. Jessica did it. You've got to believe me. She did it. <sighs> what the hell's come over her? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know her. 
It's not Charlotte. It's... It's Tracy. Who the hell is Tracy? She was a typist I knew from Manchester. Tracy Black. One of your non-existent girlfriends. Yes. Tracy, is that you? Yes, I remember. She wanted me to leave you. She wanted to marry me. She was the our killer. You are not Charlotte. You're Tracy Black. No! Tracy Black. Our oh, killer. Oh, oh, Ronnie, I didn't mean to do it. It was her I was after. I never meant to kill you. I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 oh I almost feel sorry for her. Why did you do it? I loved him. I really loved him. I would have done anything for him, anything. But he wouldn't divorce her. In the end, I gave him an ultimatum. Her or me. But he said he didn't really love me. And he really loved her. So, I killed her. It seemed so simple. The only way out. Except that it all went wrong. Bitch! Ask how! How did you do it? It's what they call um, a contact poison. It's absorbed through the skin and the effects are almost immediate. I'd arranged to meet my Ronnie in Manchester so that I knew he wouldn't be here. And then I travelled down. I put the poison on the milk bottles on the step outside. I watched and I waited. I saw her come out and pick the milk bottles up. It was perfect. Except I never went to Manchester. Once I'd seen that she'd touched the bottles, I caught the fast train back to Manchester to meet Ronnie. Perfect alibi. Except that he wasn't there. He was here all the time. Oh, why didn't you go, Ronnie? Why? Why didn't you go, Ronnie? I was going to. My bags were packed and everything. The irony of all this is that just as I was about to leave, I realised where Pilico was being. Gallivanting round the country, chasing after girls like a teenager. I realised I'd been an absolute bastard to you and, well, I was determined to make it up to you. I made a resolution there and then. No more women. I realised I loved you when I married you. And I thought we could spend the rest of our lives together. Well, we did that all right. <laughs> well, eight hours of it. It's not fair. Can you actually speak to them? Yes. Jessica appeared to Rick not long after we arrived. Then, when you left that book, I tried to get rid of her, and I managed to conjure up Ronnie. Can you see them? Yes. I can see Jessica, and Vicky can see Ronnie. But not the other way around? No. Between you, you set me up. We never meant to. We had no idea it was you. We didn't know who it was. We just thought the official verdict was wrong, that's all. We, we wanted you to get in touch with someone who knew more. The killer, even. We did that all right. <laughs> Can they hear me? Every word. Where are they now? Ronnie's there. And uh, Jessica's over here. <sighs> Jessica, I am so, so sorry. I didn't know what I was doing. Keep her away from me. So all this psychic stuff was just a front? Oh, no, no. I really am a psychic. I first noticed it at the funeral. I was standing there. You were there? Yes. <clears throat> I was one of the three in the photograph. Fortunately, the police never traced me. Why, of all the bloody nerves, she kills us and then comes to the funeral! <laughs> I had to be close to him one more time. As I was standing there in the cemetery, it was deafening. Hundreds of voices from beyond. From that day forward, I've been trying to make contact with Ronnie. I had to make him understand. I needed his forgiveness. Ronnie, please forgive me, please. <laughs> like hell I do. And if it matters at all, I don't either. Did he say 
anything. Yes, but not what you wanted to hear. Jessica? Vicky, Jessica, she just disappeared. Oh my God, so is Ronnie. What's going on? We don't know. They've disappeared. What are we going to do? Revenge is a futile emotion, Jessie. Yes, but very satisfying. Mm. I can still feel them. They are still here. Can I go first? Oh, go on. Be my guest. <laughs> you cow, take this. do that. I might not be able to see you or feel you, but oh, you can't hurt me. What's going on? They're trying to exact their revenge. Be careful, they're very powerful. Oh, so am I. I've dealt with hundreds of malevolent spirits over the years. They can't hurt me. I can't get near her, Ronnie. You try. I can't. I can't move. <laughs> Jessica. Oh. I see they've given up very wise. Take it there back with us. Yes. Ricky, if you care anything for me at all, get her. Hang on a minute. We said we'd help find your killer. I'm no murderer. No, not me. This is a job for the police. <sighs> the police? Huh. What are they going to do? The case was closed years ago. We'll get them to reopen it. Based on what? A seance? You talking to the dead? Oh, you they lock up, not me. She's right, you know. Of course I'm right. Oh, it would never have worked between us, would it, Ronnie? Didn't realise what a child you were. Still, at least I've got you out of my system now. Do something! Do something? Well, like what? Oh, there's nothing you can do. I'm just an eccentric old psychic. Nobody takes any notice of me. I'll be moving on in the morning. You too. <laughs> Sorry, four. We'll just have to sort it out as best you can. Ricky, ask her a question for me. Yes, what? Ask her if there is any way that we could harm her. Charlotte, uh, should I say uh, Tracy? Oh no, Charlotte will do. I've got quite used to that. <laughs> Jessica wants to know if there's any way they could harm you. Surely I've just demonstrated that. There's no way on this earth they can harm me. Just as I thought. No way on this earth. We can wait. Can't we, Bonnie? Oh, yes, Jessie. We can wait. Did she say anything? She said they'll be waiting for you. You can't live forever. <gasps> <laughs> 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 